All right, check it. So look, people been asking me, you know, certain aspects when it comes to going mobile. So I just wanted to tell y'all and share with y'all a few things that I learned in the journey of going mobile. Um, I think one of the main things you got to understand is uh, your time management, right? So you don't want to just be driving around town aimlessly. Like you don't want to be driving 30 minutes east and you got to go back 30 minutes west for, for your next appointment. You got to go 45 minutes south and like you want to make sure that you're keeping all your haircuts in the same zone, in the same region. You have to utilize booking because when you have booking, you can then look and see where the people were at the night before, see the locations and you can even tweet and like send them back a message and say, hey, maybe I can't do four o'clock, but how about 445? And you can even dictate and say, hey, you know, you can save some money if you meet me over here. So it's just different little things you want to tap into. Um, Number two, I would say lighting at night, right? So no matter how many curtains you put up, how many cameras you have, you wanna make sure that at night you don't really cut all your high beams on. Because I like to be incognito, maybe it's just me. So when I'm doing my thing in my mobile shop, there's a lot of VIPs that I'm, I'm cutting, so I can't be too loud. I can't be like, Chad's Mobile Barbershop. Like, so I decided not to wrap it. I just murdered it out. It's an all black, spun it out, uh, blacked out sprinter, lights blacked out, smoked out, everything's blacked out. I'm about to get the rims blacked out, uh, 5% 10 all the way around. Um, it's just blacked out, you know? And um, when you cut them LEDs on, though, uh, man, it's like a disco ball. Like it, it'll just stand out. You be a mile away, and you see this one black thing that's just bright at night. So you don't really want to do that, especially if you're cutting in public or downtown area. What you're gonna to want to do is invest in a headlamp. There's two headlamps I highly recommend, right? So this is a Steelman Pro. Now this is gonna run you roughly. I'll have to look at the price again to tell you, but check it on Amazon. Steelman Pro LED headlamp. Uh, I'm sure it's probably over $100. But this thing recharges on a USB in the back. And it has like a, a bunch of different levels of lighting. So you can see that's that's pretty bright. Like it's, it covers a better region than just, you know, standard brightness. So you can see here, you can hit it twice. And you see how it's getting dimmer. Now it's off. This is the new baby and this one's fire. I mean. At night, it gives you 360. Um, you can see everything everywhere inside. I'm actually very excited to use this. Man, it's called the Halo. And it literally looks like a Halo. But I mean, this is the highest level headlamp there is right now. I'm sure this is gonna cost you. There's three settings. It's a blinking setting, goes down brighter, brightest. You can do that, you can do that. Uh, I think there's more. Then there's also lamps on the front. So there's like, three levels on, on there, there's a Cyclops beam as well, then it's all three. So I mean, if you got this thing on at the highest level and you got all three, I mean, you're you're talking about a different level of brightness right here. And uh, when I'm cutting hair, typically because I have braids or if you wear a hat, it'd be cool. I wouldn't directly put this on my head because it's meant to be on a hard hat. So I would probably put it, you know, on, I'll wear a do-rag and I'll put the do-rag on or I wear a hat and I put it on like this. There's a lot of things you want to think about, man, when you're going mobile. Um, there's just two things for you that I can think of right now. And uh, yeah, man, if you have any questions in the comments, you know, about mobile barbering, you know, drop a comment. I'll make a video about it.